supposed to be the girl that never came home last night to me, the 18 year old that was full of hope, full of life and uh, looking forward to a bright future. Susan Long was 18. She worked as a clerk at Norwich Union. On March the 10th, 1970, she caught a bus to her hometown of Aylsham after spending the evening with her boyfriend in Norwich. The bus dropped her off in Aylsham Marketplace and from there it should have been just a few minutes walk to her parents' home in Sir William's Lane. But Susan never arrived. Her body was found just after five o'clock the next morning by a milkman in this country lane, about a mile and a half from where she got off the bus. She'd been strangled and sexually assaulted. Scotland Yard led the original police investigation and over the course of 50 years, there have been case reviews, there have been appeals, but there have been no charges, no justice. And that's despite huge advances in forensic science. Police have the full DNA profile of the person they think murdered Susan. They say one piece of information from the public, one name, could still be enough to solve one of Norfolk's coldest cases. People do have things that they keep to themselves, and we get calls fairly regularly from members of the public that said, I've never told anybody this, however I want to get off my chest, I've kept this a secret for decades. And we do get that fairly regularly, so this is one of the cases where we're after the same. Susan Long was one of the very defining sort of homicides in Norfolk. It terrified the community, but it would be so nice, even 50 years later, just to draw a line under it and know who's responsible for her murder. Susan now has no living relatives. Her mum left tens of thousands of pounds to Aylsham Parish Church, where a new community room's been named after her. She went to her grave without answers, answers which police insist could still be out there. Rob Setchell, ITV News, Aylsham in Norfolk. On Tuesday, the 11th of March, 1970, at around 11pm that evening, Molly and Derek Long were at home, which was in an oldie weldy market town named Elsham in North Norfolk. They was waiting for the arrival of their daughter Susan Long. Susan often went to visit her boyfriend Brian Tungate, who lived in Norwich. This particular evening Susan had been to a dance that was at the local place called Main the Gala in Norwich. And it was around this time Susan's parents knew that Susan would be on her very last part of her bus journey home and should be getting off the bus and making her way back home. This was around 11.14pm that the bus was expected. Susan's walk back from that bus stop to her family home would have taken seven minutes. Susan's parents made a habit of waiting up for Susan as they would worry I couldn't sleep until Susan was at, back at home. This journey that Susan took was regular and had been for the last four months prior to her death. So Susan's parents had no reason to think any different that night to any other Tuesday before. After a short while and no sign of Susan coming home through the family front door, panic began to set in. This was around midnight. Susan's parents started to worry something was very wrong. Derek Long decided to go to the bus stop which is in the named area called the marketplace. He rode as fast as he could which was only a short journey from their road in St Williams Lane to check what was wrong. If anything Whilst Derek was there, he found out that Susan's bus had been and gone and had arrived on time. By 1am, Susan's parents had decided to call the police to alert them of their daughter Susan not returning back home. The police checked if Susan had been a bus passenger on the bus with the bus company. She had, but not much could have been done at this point as darkness was coming. So they waited till dawn broke to resume any search or any investigations. It was around 5.15 that morning that a milkman named James Bacon, aged 33, who had been delivering at an area called Spratt's Green, which was only half a mile away from Susan's home, had called the police 
and as he told the police he had discovered a female body on a lonely country lane by open fields called the Coltershaw and Elsham Bridge which when just as he went around the bend he found the body as he described in a puddle of water of a dark haired woman face down. James Bacon knew instinctively this woman was dead by what he had saw. A police sergeant later on called Dable, David Angledore arrived and stated that at the scene there were signs of obvious struggles and a strap was left around her neck and the left shoe was missing. At post-mortem examinations revealed she had been sexually assaulted and died from strangulation. Susan's parents were quickly informed of the body that was found and had been given the bad news and the body had been taken to St Michael's Hospital in Elsham. Susan's father, Derek, had been the family who identified the body and that it was of Susan. Derek Long died 11 years later and Molly Long died in 2014, both of them never knowing who killed their only child. And despite further advances in DNA profiling, Susan's murderer still has not been identified or served justice. We are Paranormal Ventures, and this is a paranormal investigation of the murder of Susan Long. Now we've come to the actual spot, the area where Susan Long, her life was taken and we believe it was roughly around here. So this is Spratt's Green. This is a place called Spratt's Green and this is where Susan's body was taken by her killer that night after she got off the bus in Elsham in the marketplace. We assume she was dragged to this place here and this is where she met her life. She was strangled with the straps of her handbag and she was sexually assaulted 
and the only things that were missing off of her was one shoe and a bracelet that she had. Now the police when doing their investigation uh, found bitumen on her body and on her clothes but that turned out to be the tarmac that obviously has been laid down this country lane. There was other things on her clothes as well which were flakes of... Well significant line of inquiry yeah, was made about it. There was it. flakes of paint with they believe from a car that was originally been pompadour a, been blue, a pompadour blue yeah. and then it had been resprayed to metallic. a metallic maroon. Now, which suggested who she'd be in contact with either with a car. Yeah. So yeah. So if she'd been put in, maybe been put in a boot, or it's possible that in the car it could have been more well, than one. It could one have happened here though. Items. Couldn't it? Yeah. Um, but from the old news footage that we've seen, and from what I'm working out in distance and that, it was roughly pretty, pretty sure it was here. Just here, where I'm standing now. Because there was a tent set up and she was thrown, excuse that paper wet there, thrown face down, as if she didn't adjure enough, thrown face down when she's dead puddle. in a puddle, as if she didn't had it already endured enough. And a milkman Left found her at 5.30 a.m. Yeah, and a milkman came along here because there's a farm up here. Well, I think it's either here or up there. I think there's two, actually. Came along to do his usual deliveries, like he always does. It was 5.30am in the morning. And the milkman found her body, face down in a puddle. By this place, the country lane, on Spratt's Green, which is just outside of Elsham. Now, right behind these trees here is the Burr Valley Railway. Yeah. As you can see, in, I'll take you to operation. it. I could take you, you could actually see it. If you can see that there, along there, that little breakthrough there, that is the actual Burr Rally Railway, isn't it? But um, police have, who investigated this, have suggested that the person, her perpetrator, her killer, was in a hurry to do this. He's in a panic panicked and he has and, a very rare blood group as well yes um from the DNA he left profile he left uh semen and blood on the site and he's got a rare blood group and 81 local people had that blood group but they all were eliminated because they had alibis that's what i do know now the funny thing is i've we've turned on the obvious yeah it had through puncture scruple so what Pretty I'm wondering was, was when, he, him, when he got here, maybe he actually got himself a puncher. I mean, he was driving through here. Yeah. Um, so it's very, you know, it's a, quite a damaged road in a lot of sense. Let's just take a walk up here, Dave, and to see if anything comes through on that ovulus. Um, what equipment did you bring with you from the car? Uh, I've got the puck too in my pocket and okay. I've also got the spirit box. So what I'm going to do, I'll start off with my easiest um, ones first. Dave has got the obvious song because we always that. leave that running anyway. So Dave, if anything comes through that you think is mm -hmm. anything anyway, but if something is really relevant, do let us know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place the uh, obvious Put it over there, on it? the roadside here. I think it was about here, Dave. Something here, because I remember, see that lamppost there? Yeah. It wasn't that far from where the tent was set up. It was somewhere along here. Yeah, it's so it's sort, sort of it where that patch is on that road there. Right. So it was on the road she was found in. Okay. So Dave's going to like... Should it be... Is it okay laying there? Yeah, it's okay to lay down, isn't it? We won't be able to see the screen. Stable. Well, maybe lay it on the sort of semi-up, no? Okay. There's something scratching behind there all the time. So this is how we're going to leave it, okay, at the moment. The last word that came in was scruple, or through, puncture and scruple. And I'm going to turn on the Paratech. I'm not too keen on this, because I do wonder how accurate it is, but... You will hear some people talking in the background, because we have got a campsite just in the field behind us here. Well, it's not a campsite, something's going well, on tomorrow, it looked some like event. There was camping as well, so, yeah. I'm going to turn this on. Started scanning. 
Let's see what comes question. through. We have a question. Is Susan Long here? If you're here, if, you, if you're here, my darling, please come through. Come and talk to us. Because we're here. We don't want to, we're not here to harm you or anything. Please don't be scared of us. Come and talk to us because... We're here to find the truth. We want to know the truth. We want to know, did you know your killer? Do you know who your killer is? Do you know his name? Pack. Pack. Please let us know. Yeah. Pack her. Come and talk to us. Pack her. Pack her in the boat? What? I don't know. What do you think? Pack her in the boat? Yeah, because that's what that could mean. He packed her in the boot of the car. Used. Used. Used came up. Are you here, Susan? There's a bang in the background there. Are you here, Susan? Lap. Lap. If you're here, do you want to come and talk to us? Hot. Haunt. Do you haunt this place? Do you haunt this place? Is there anything you want to say? Come on. Verb. Let's just you stopped. It. Yeah, I just stopped for a, bit, a little bit. I'll keep talking. Do you want to come and talk to me? If you're here, I'd like you, your spirit, to come through. Jake. Jake. Who's Jake? Is that relevant at all? Was Jake the person that killed you? Was that your boyfriend's name? Because I know you had a boyfriend at the time. Mary. Was you going to get married? Yeah, we are being interrupted. I can hear a lot of noise over here. I don't know what it is. Oh, somebody's having a fire there in the background. I can hear crackling wood in the background. Somebody in their back garden there. Find it. Find it. You tell me where to stop. Where was it where your body was put down on the ground? Tell me where it was. Am I going in the right direction? Hand. Hand. Name Jake has come through. And it said Mary after that. Did anything come up on that office? So maybe we should move it up a bit further. Maybe here. Quiz. Quiz. Render. Render. Okay. I think Dave's just clearing a bit of dust over there. Well, so nothing's it. come Red through. Ovilus is very, very quiet. Okay. Notice. Come on, Susan. Susan Long, if you're here, come and talk to us. Come on, darling. Come and say something to us. Afterlife. If you have a message or you want something to say, come through now. We would really, really appreciate if you would. 
a spirit box. Okay, I'll okay. You want to do it now? Or? It's really difficult having two going, isn't it? To record it in case you miss something. Play. Emma. Emma. Emma, the name Emma's come through. We do know her, Emma. Okay, I think Dave wants to fire up the spirit box, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn this off now. Scanning stopped. And then what I'll do after that, I'll put the necrophonic on once we've had a go at this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this this case, by the way, is now 50 years old this year. They did do a, a fresh appeal on the anniversary of her death, which was March the 10th, um, asking for anyone to jog their memories. We do appreciate because this is a rather old case, I suppose, in the terms of crime, like being a cold case, isn't it? But the, the, there is like people that whose memories could be jogged still, so that's why they did it still, didn't they? Need to scan it off. Need to scan. Okay, just type on the spirit box. Susan, are you here? Susan, if you're here, please use this device to talk through. Manipulate it to talk to us. Hello? You say hello? Susan, do you want to say hello to us? Susan, if you're here, can you talk to us? Come and talk to us, darling. Come on. Can you tell us who the name of the person who killed you? What's the name of the person who killed you? Come on, speak to us. Is the person here who killed you? If you're here, do you want to come and talk to us? Susan, are you here? Molly, Susan's mother, are you here? Are you both together now? So, uh, what yes. Yeah, that's what I thought I heard. So Molly, Molly Long, the mother of Susan Long, are you here? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, again. Could, okay then, could you tell me what was the name of the killer who took your daughter's life? In hell. What was his name? Oh. 
What was his name? Please give me a name. Moultrie. Why did you say Moultrie? Was the person that killed you English? Was the person that killed you English? Or was the person American? He's dead. He's dead. Okay, what was his name then? If he's dead, can you tell me? What was his name? Please. Yes, he ki yes, killed himself. That's what I thought I heard just then. Molly or Susan? Susan, please tell me what his name was, please. We want to know. Please, this is your time to say. What was his first name? Maybe I can't find my name for it on my so. Okay, I'll ask it this way. Did you know who did you know the person who killed you? Dancing again. Third, that's the third time dancing's come up. Did you? So, Susan, did you know the person that killed you? Come on, please come through and speak to us. Be more clearer. Susan, what was you wearing that night? What did you wear? What was the colour of the shoe that he took? Gold. That's what I said. I don't know. Okay. What was the what was the date that you died? What was the date? Susan, what was the Susan, what was the colour of the car? It's easy for me to pick out and do the editing. 
Susan, what colour was the car? What was the colour of the car, Susan? Okay, what'd you get from that? Uh, dancing kept coming up. Yeah. Which is what she was doing the night she died. Did you hear that scream? Yeah, that was just. That's quite a quite clear. Horrific sort of terrified um, scream came through. I could have sworn earlier that when you asked his name, mm -hmm. I could have sworn it said another body. I was wondering whether or not maybe they were trying to tell us that there was a second, you know, he's done it again. Yeah. Which is quite possible. You've got a load of gnats just sitting above yeah, your I head. I can see that. But bloody damn things. Okay, I'm going to, let's just check the ovulus first. No. It hasn't Absolutely changed. Absolutely nothing, look. That's quiet. Okay. I'm going to start the necrophonic, uh, which Huff Paranormal, the people in the paranormal field would know that. Huff Paranormal has used this, so I'm going to use it. Okay, Susan, or Molly even, which is her mother. I have another device, so please use that to speak through. Can you say hello? On, it helps to understand it well. Susan, are you here? Susan, please come and talk to me. Your spirit, come and talk to me. Can you please give me the first name of the person who killed you? What was their name? Derek, Derek, Derek. Put Derek again. Dave. I'm just saying this to like make points when I do the review. What happened to you, Susan? How did you die?
Who is here? Be careful. Be careful. He can't touch me. I'm going to be careful. Help. Help. I do pray for you. Did you say earlier, Derek? What was the colour of the car? What is Derek's surname? What was your killer's surname? Where was your killer from? Where was your killer from? Lake, lake, something. here talking to us who is this who is us Man. is that your surname What's your first name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Susan, I'm praying for you. Please tell me this person's name. We can pass this information on. It may help. Please say your murderer's name clearly. Did you say the name Derek? Was that your murderer? Was Derek the person who killed you? Do you have any message to give us, Susan? What is the message you want to leave us with? Susan, are you with your mother now? I will pray for you, Susan. I will pray for you. I just want you to tell me who that was. Make it really clear. We can pass that information on. Okay, thank you. We're going to try something else. Okay. Uh, as you can see, nothing's changed on the obelisk. Still the same. Find. Find used. Tell me that came up on the um, 
Okay. Yeah, find the used what? Maybe that's something that he took. When he took the shoe and the bracelet. Mm. We are being bothered by gnats here. Yeah, aren't we? severely. I've been bitten Quite numerous silly. times. Yeah. So find used. What have we got to find? Okay. So we've just had comfort on the ovulus. Date chills. Yeah, just as we turn it off, just have a collect our equipment together and see what mm. size we're going to use next. Because this has been so quiet and it decides to talk. What date are you referring to? Why did you move it nearer to the ground or something? When no, happened? it just literally stood here. Okay. Let's try that. So many details there. This is where it scans like around, isn't it? For mm, it scans the proximity. For any energy. There's a bit of a spike there. anybody's here, do you want to come and stand near us? Come and stand near us. Come and look at what we're looking at. Excuse the noise, there's somebody having like a garden party or something and it's quite far away but they're pretty loud, aren't they? Okay, I'm gonna do an EVP session whilst that's going off, alright. Is there anybody here that would like to say anything? Please speak into this device. Come close to me and come and speak. There's a message that you'd like to say. Just come and say hello, just say your name, just say anything. Come and speak into this. Hematos. What's that mean? That's just blood, isn't it? Hema. Okay, let's turn that off. Let's do a review on that. Listen. Is there anybody here that would like to say anything? Please speak into this device. Come close to me and come and speak. No, it's just picking up all the noise in the background, this is. If there's a message that you'd like to say, just come and say hello, just say your name, just say anything. Come and speak into this. Hematos. Hematos. What's that mean? It's just blood, isn't it? Hema. Well, on the first part of that EVP, I couldn't hear nothing, but the second one was um, contaminated a bit by Dave speaking over it. Um, we've had some things come through that I think are quite relevant. Um, I'll say this now. We came here last year to this place and we'd done a little mini investigation. We wasn't really into like filming it back then. And um, the name Derek came up then, didn't it, Dave? 
That's right, yeah. And it didn't numerous come up times. once, it came up numerous times. And tonight, as you saw on the Necrophonic app that I used, as I said, it's supposed to be very recommended by people who are very into the paranormal. As I said, even Huff Paranormal has a big YouTube channel, uses it. It's come up on that. So I sort of tend to trust it. And that name came up and it didn't just come up once, did it? It came up twice tonight. And when I do to do the editing on this video, I will pull that out and I'll repeat it just to make it clear to the viewers. But yeah. What came up on... It's come up as a candle. It came candle, didn't it? Mm. It keeps asking to pray like a candle. But, I mean, we're going to have to leave this place in a minute yeah, because we are being bitten. I would like to try the puck, though, before we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a break on the camera and set the puck up. OK, we've turned the puck two on. Dave, if I could ask you to put that down, I reckon, about here while I'm standing in this part of the road. Okay. And you could film that. And I'm just keep on that. A moment, I'm going to keep asking it questions. I'm going to ask Susan, are you here? Okay. Susan, are you here? Just type that in. I'll press enter. Eggs. Eggs. Okay. Right. Let's get a few more answers. Let's just turn the parameters again. Oops. Susan Long, are you here? Okay. Crystal, press once. Crystal, press once. Okay. I'm going to keep doing stuff. I don't know if you want to put the spirit box on again, do you? Kind of weird, you know, we're getting nothing off the obelisk again. It just suddenly starts, stops, starts, stops. So, you know, the obvious is normally very reliable and very good, but it depends on what it can and can't pick up at the time. So, and then we, I'm going to place it back down on the ground as well. Let's see if it picks up anything else again. Okay, so, I've asked, is anyone here with us in spirit? Yeah? Where? Lend government. Com company where lend government. Did you work for the government? Summer, root, Jupiter. That makes no sense. Okay, we just leave that running. Don't you want to get the spirit box out? I think we'll have a go at that, yeah? Okay. But Dave here has just turned on the spirit box again. He's going to turn that up. Are you going to scan in, yeah? Yeah. S Susan or Molly, are you here? So. Can you tell us the name of the person that killed you? Can you tell me the name of the person that was here? Can you tell me the colour of the car? Can 
Susan, was you killed here or killed elsewhere and brought here? Susan, was you killed elsewhere? We've got spirit energy around us here. Can you see that? Yeah, it's flesh. Can you see that? Yeah, it's flesh. Can you see that? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Jim. That means that, it, that something's entering this area. Susan, was you killed here or somewhere else? Did you know your killer? Can you repeat that? Did you know your killer? What was what was his name? What was his name? Susan, what were you wearing that evening? Susan, are you with your mother now? Susan, are you with Molly now? If you're here, come and talk to us, please. I think that's just said with God. There's something going on with the uh, pup too, it's uh, flashing. Susan, can you tell me the name of the person that harmed you? We're getting, we're getting some activity on the uh, puck too. Has your killer killed another person? Each other. I asked the question, has your killer killed another person? And it just come up, yes. More vi victims just come up, do that. How many more people has he killed? Killed. Killed.
I was asking her, I thought I heard the number nine being said, as he was actually asking it. Sorry, you mentioned... Can you clarify this, please? How many people has he killed? How many other people has he killed or raped? I'm not sure, but I think I just heard Derek come through. Okay. I'm not sure. And the puck's flashing again. Okay. okay. Thank you, Susan. What did you hear? Did that just say Derek again? Is that what you heard? Go crazy. Okay, thank you, Susan. I'm going to turn off. I'm going to turn the spirit box off now. Do you have anything lasting to say before I turn it off? Okay, now, when I was just about to turn it off prior to now, I could have sworn just as I was about to do it, it suddenly turned round and said, Derek, and it's in a lady's voice. So I'm gonna have to review that to see whether or not that is the case. Okay, have you got anything you wanna use this Oculus? One last time. This Oculus, one last time. I turn it off because it is getting dark now. Come and say something using it. Come on. Just use all your energy. Come on, I have a walk back. I'm going to put the steel flush below here. Maybe I should go near it. Maybe I should just put that near it. Come on, use all the energy up around there. There's a lot of energy in here. So use it. Use it to speak. Okay. Right. Before you turn it off, Dave, I just want to quickly just put on my version of the ghost box. Okay. Susan, are you here? Just say your name, say your name, Susan. Say your name, Susan, say it. Say your name, Susan, Susan, Susan. What did you mean by sober and bell? Is that relevant at all? Is the name Derek relevant to this?
Is the name Derek relevant to this? What day did you die? at all are we? Yeah. I don't know why I felt the first sort of like 10 minutes that we was doing this investigation I felt like something was coming through mm -hmm. like as if they came here to just have a look see what it was up to yeah like their spirits or something well, that sounds like cranked but <laughs> well we need to get and then, our lights then uh... I felt like they just like they just went like so they just went went away mm. I don't know but that was just me but I we did get some names come through didn't we Derek Derek's come and again even their surname came through long I heard that I actually heard that you heard that mm -hmm. but I'm going to do a review but yeah we're going to right. go to so we're going to review this yeah and then uh, we'll come back to you shortly yeah we're we just walking down now where are we walking to Dave to the graveyard. Church. Yep. Yeah. You can't really make the church out too well at the moment. It's uh, very dark tonight. There you go, this is it. Mm. Here is the headstone or the gravestone for Molly Long, which is the mother of Susan Long. And as it says at the very bottom, reunited with Susan. And Molly is buried with her brother. Thomas Arthur West. Mm -hmm. As you can see, Molly Long didn't die that long ago. 2014. Uh, it says there beautifully, it says reunited with Susan. So, that is beautiful. There's someone making some really bad noises that way. So, what we're going to do, we are going to place. Speed has come up on the obelisk. We are going to place this obelisk. There. Molly, if you're here, please use this device. Again. Blind, raised, older. Molly, if you're here, please use this device to talk to us. Did you know who killed your daughter, Susan? Do you know who that is now?
leave that running in the background. the spirit box in. Molly or even Susan, please come forward and speak to us. I need the forward. Come forward and use this to come and talk to us. Okay, hang on, we've got the bells. The bells just chime in there. Come forward and speak to us. Please say your names. Say your names. Ding out. Are you here? Use these devices to talk to us. Was Derek the person that killed? Susan. Are you together now? Molly, are you with Susan now? Molly, come speak to us. Rapid. Music show. Okay, one last time. Molly, if you're here, please use these devices. Use this device to speak to us. Use it to speak to us. Oh God, maybe film me. Okay. Use this device to speak to us. The last time I'm going to be asking you, Molly, if you're here, or Susan. No puncture. No puncture. Yet it said puncture earlier. So it wasn't a puncture. So he right? it was a fake puncture. There was no puncture. Is this connected to April Fab? Molly, are you with Susan now? Getting bitten again. Okay, let's try something else.
going to stick on the um, sign on, sorry, necrophilic. Molly, are you here? If you're here, say your name. Both here. Say your names then, please. If you're here, Molly, say your name. Say your name. Hello. Where are you standing right now? Molly. Molly Long, are you here with us? Molly Long, are you here? If you are here, can you say your daughter's name? I wonder if that was answering my question from earlier. Well, what should I ask him? Because I asked earlier, I said, did he get, a, did he fake a puncher? No Till I get her into the car. No, no puncher. Older. What does that mean? Then older. What happened to your daughter? Are you in heaven with Susan now? Is there anyone here in spirit that would like to talk to us?
Did that say priest? Yeah. Is there a priest here? Who's the priest? I'd like to speak to Molly Long. Is she here? Is Molly Long here with us? Is Susan here? Who is here with us then? Did I say be warned? Yes. Here. Hello. Well, we don't seem to be connected with Molly Long, do we? Uh, not tonight. But it's strange what the ovulist said, though. Okay, let's stop that. Right. Okay. So we're getting nothing on the obvious except just for the bit where it said no puncher, which to me was like it was answering the question from earlier. Yeah. Let's just do a quick... That's a bit too loud. Cemetery. Okay. Is there anybody here that'd like to say something to us, please? Is there a Molly Long here especially? Molly Long, are you here? If you're here, please come forward and speak. Say something through this device. Would you like to say something to us? Can you say your name? Say your daughter's name? Did you know who killed your daughter? Did you know who killed your daughter? Please be more clearer. Do you know his name? Can you tell us his name? for the bells. We 
know his name? Could you say it? Could you tell me the name? Say the name. Say the name. What did you say there? Did you say that again? That just said Derek, didn't it? A bit more it? clearer. Say that again, please. Just one more time. A bit more clearer. Connect with us, please. Please say his name for us. Yes, thank you. Thank you, we caught that that time. Yeah, thank you. Are you in heaven now with your daughter, Susan? Have you finally been reunited? Is Derek still alive? Is Derek, the man that killed your daughter, still alive? Material. We just had material and shush come up on the obelisk. Telling us it's too loud in here. Okay. Being a bit quiet, too noisy for not being quiet. We offer you the utmost respect. We are just looking for the truth. Okay, we've got people coming. Turn that off now. Okay, we are going to end now this filming, and I just want to say that. Molly, who is Susan Long's mother, Molly Long, spent four decades without her daughter and not knowing what happened to her, not knowing who killed her, who took her life, nothing. She never had any peace. And throughout all that whole time, she must have been so tormented. But it was this church and its community that gave her... Peace and solitude. Peace and her some strength and gave her some solace back and it just became her life and because Susan Long was her only child you imagine that even her only child was taken from her like that that means her whole future was taken and she had to live four decades there and it, I just feel so emotional when I talk about that because as a mum myself I couldn't imagine what that must feel like and even through all that hurt and pain and what she went through, she turned to her religion. Her religion was her rock. And what she got back from the church must have been so immense that when she died, she left in her, her will all her money, a large, substantial amount of money, to this church. And the church built um, a big building that was named after Susan Long in memory of her. So, just remember that. Anyway, thank you. 
I want to say thank you for watching. I want you to please subscribe to our channel. I want you to like it. And most of all, I would love you to share it. Please share it because it helps our channel grow. And it just encourages us to make more content for it. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you.